What's up everybody? I'm Chris from Avahi Design and welcome back to the Avahi channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add text over your image. Um, you'll use this a lot for like header images and stuff. Um, we're going to be doing this completely in Gutenberg. So you're going to be able to do this without any extra page builders or anything. We're just going to be using the core functionality of WordPress. And we're also going to need to know a little bit of CSS, but it's really simple stuff. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so we've logged into WordPress, we've gone to our homepage. This is what it currently looks like. Um, and then if you go to our homepage, this is what it is. So we want to add a header image and then we're going to have text over that image. So it's really simple. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the Gutenberg editor. We are going to insert a block before the WooCommerce products. We're going to go ahead and do an image and I've already uploaded it. So this is just a 1920 by 600 uh, header image. Essentially, I just got the image from unsplash and then made it the right size. Now that we have the image, we're going to, we're just going to make it full size and do full width so that we have a full width image for our header. And then we're going to add another block and this time it's going to be a heading and we're just going to put, you know, Nike shoes. You can put whatever text you want in there. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to use shift and select both. And that will pull up this box that lets you transform to group. And now that we have this grouped box, we're going to add a CSS class. So we'll just call this one container. And then on the heading, we need to put a text. You know, so we have a CSS class on our heading called text, and then we have a CSS class on the entire block, the group of the two blocks called container. So that's going to keep them both together. But right now, if we go look at it, you will see that the text is still below the image. So to fix that, we need to do a few things with CSS. So we have the container block and then we have the text block. So whenever doing text over an image, you need to work with position relative and that is going to go on the container because you want that container to show up wherever it needs to be. And then the text is going to be position absolute. So that's going to link the text to that container. And then whatever you put in is going to make it show up in that absolute position. So with absolute positions, we can do top, left, right, and bottom. For this, we're just going to do top 50%. So that'll bring it down 50% from the top of the image. And then we are going to do left 5% just to give it a little bit of a uh, padding essentially. So if we go ahead and update the file, you'll see that we now have the text over our image. And from there, you can add any extra styling that you might want to do. So let's go ahead and go back to the page and you'll see that it still shows up as this very easy to use, you know, box. It still shows up right here. There's nothing weird or crazy on the back end. You can change the text however you want and you don't really have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and put an extra CSS class so that we can style it and then keep text as just our position absolute. And there we go. So you can play with that and do whatever you need to do, but you know, that's the main gist of it. You want to meet, you want to make a container and have that position be relative so that it doesn't screw up anything on the actual page. And then you're going to use a CSS class on the text to make it a position absolute and the position absolute. The way it works is it links it to the next nearest relative position. 
So that's why we put relative on that container because that's the next closest one. If we didn't put relative on that container, then it's going to try to put it absolutely on the whole page because that's the next relative box. The best part about doing it this way with the Gutenberg blocks, instead of, you know, just doing it with pure HTML, you're able to go in and easily change what the heading says. So maybe I want it to say Nike cleats. These obviously aren't cleats, but you know, and we can update and it's going to show up on the front end. Or maybe we want it to be a different image. Your client would be able to go in very easily and change this image to something else. So it gives you a lot more flexibility that the HTML wouldn't because it's still kind of a page builder. So you get that easy, you know, that ease of use that you wouldn't with HTML. So that's how you put your text over an image using WordPress Gutenberg. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.